I just got a call from my restaurant that I delivered to and they need wood like today so it's unfortunately it's raining and stuff they kind of dropped the ball on me weren't paying attention I guess to how much they had used and ordered it real late so this morning we're out here in the rain and the mud we're gonna try to get them a load over there uh, kind, kind of short notice so I got the boys here helping me up and at them and so we got at least a little bit split and ready uh, we got to split this down smaller from our stuff that's uh, seasoned so we got to do another split for all of this stuff so this is this is actually all done uh, that over there needs split still and then we have some stuff that's uh, split already but it needs to be split smaller for it so we'll, we'll uh, try to tackle that today at least get them a half a load over there Last year when I was storing the wood that I wanted to sell, um, I stored it on you know these pallets and I stacked it really nice and neat. Um, I went one way and then I went back and went the other way. So there was uh, lots of room. Like the end pieces were all getting uh, quite a bit of air. Uh, but it was packed a little bit tight. Um, and it takes so much time to pack everything like that. So I'm gonna try something new this year. From all the research that I've been doing, uh, a lot of people um, <clears throat> will essentially take uh, big areas like this and then they will put pallets around them so that you can just throw the wood in there and you can stack it like that it's not really stacking i guess it's more just making a large pile but you have it up off of the ground so it's not rotting uh, you have it up on pallets and then the pallets you know they obviously have holes in them so the wind can go through there and, and it can dry out the wood and season it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slide um, this together and these together and I'm just going to begin my pile uh, of wood that I'm going to be seasoning next year. And I'm going to be just throwing this stuff in there. I'm hoping that it kind of saves me a lot of time. 
and uh, effort and I'm not touching the wood as much and I'm not handling the wood as long and so I'm getting a lot more out of my time essentially so I'm getting a lot more out of my time so that's really all the so all there really is to it is uh just gonna slide these together here be taking that strap off there that piece of wood there be taking that off and then uh taking these leftover pallets and making kind of a wall Basically just using old scrap nails, old rusty nails that I find, and uh, kind of kind of scrap wood or whatever. I'm trying not to waste anything that's that's decent. So, um, yeah, just using some some junk that I have laying around to try to secure and fasten these things up. But I think it's not going to be too big of a of a deal. Just put three up real quick, so <clears throat> they don't have to be super sturdy because they're not really holding the weight. They're just kind of holding everything. From like sliding out but they're not you know holding a whole bunch of weight so i'll kind of go through here and i'll secure and fasten like with screws probably to a lot of these just to hold the bottom so it doesn't kind of come out at the bottom but i don't think it'll be too big of a deal i think it's going to work pretty well actually so got everything unloaded here in the rain despite the rain um the firewood has really been uh you know, it started off kind of like trying to find a bunch of different side hustles, but it's really just de developed into like almost nearly a business as far as selling firewood goes. Because I've had so much success and it's kind of, <clears throat> you know, I've invested in the wood splitter and, you know, I already had the trailer. And so it's just kind of, it's really uh, started to become just like a sole focus. And I'm still, you know, trying to figure out different side hustles and stuff, but um, as long as I can continue to sell the wood, um, I have plenty of wood. It only makes sense to just continue to try to produce as much firewood as possible, especially for next season. So I have a lofty goal uh, next season, <clears throat> try to cut uh, enough loads that I can make $30,000. Um, so that's quite a side hustle there. Um, <clears throat> that would um, that would put a large chunk against the uh, against the mortgage on the house, trying to pay off the house and uh, really help out big time so so here is the finished product um so i haven't measured this i don't know exactly how big it is i've used almost every pallet that i had except for uh three or four um <clears throat> i tried to get as much of the similar sized pallets on the side as i can as you can see here i kind of ran out so i have a little bit lower of pallets but this is going to hold a lot of loads i haven't measured it yet so i don't know exactly what the measurement is but this is going to hold a lot of firewood and because as you can see i mean there's a ton of airflow not only on the sides because of all the you know holes in the sides from the slats but also it's lifted up off of this concrete as well and so what i'm hoping is that's going to have plenty of ventilation underneath plenty of ventilation through the sides and then of course lots of ventilation on the top and I'm gonna be able to stack a ton more firewood in this thing. And so obviously the goal is to build a couple more of these and I would like to uh, kind of sort them out from species. So this, I've already gotten some oak logs in there that I've thrown in there, so that's some white oak. So this is just gonna be primarily oak, which is primarily what I sell. Um, but I would like to build another one of these similar sized um, and have hickory and then <clears throat> possibly the third one uh, that's gonna be uh, maybe walnut, ash, and cherry, just kind of all the, the remaining hardwoods. And so I got plenty of concrete space to do that. This is an old shed, um, old barn that was on the property already. And so at least I'm getting some good use for this concrete. You know, it's not in the mud. And it's kind of nice on days like today where it's rainy. You know, I can stand on the concrete and split wood, even though it's not so great. 
I'd rather not split wood at all on the rainy days, but like today, you know, I had such a short notice and had to get that delivered that it just kind of worked out like that. And <clears throat> it was kind of nice to be able to kind of be, you know, not in the mud, not dragging around in the mud. And that, that keeps the wood a lot cleaner that way. Um, and then it's kind of nice, you know, as you can see, this concrete's pretty, pretty clean. It gets to be like that when I start splitting. But, <clears throat> you know, I can just come through here. I got a, a leaf blower and I'll just leaf blow everything off or I'll sweep it all off. And I just make a pile over there and I, I put it in the compost pile. So, you know, I kind of get that good compost uh, to break down too there with the garden clippings and all that. Kind of makes some pretty good compost.